in Morristown, Tennessee, where we followed the feature card at Cherokee Park for round one. Moving on to hole number one, 265 foot. This is going to be a putter shot. You've got to be real careful because there is a huge, huge drop off. Drop off with OB at the bottom of the hill, just behind the basket. These guys were more worried about this hole than any of the other holes that they played. lucky to sit down. I'd rather hit the band in the cage mm -hmm. if I'm going to miss on this hole. Dickerson putting back up towards the basket. This can be dangerous as well. You can hit the band and roll down. Mm -hmm. Done that many times. You know that's got to get in their head. Oh, and it does. Oh. Lucky it set down there. High on either side. Mm -hmm. Dickerson tapping in for a par. Moving on to hole number two. 500. Definitely right. Dickerson going to want to play the same kind of play as Shoestrick. Another great shot and great camera work from Corey. Looks like he's behind the dude. Dickerson looking to get an eagle here. As I said, this is another par four on the course. I would say this is one of the par fours that would more than likely be a four as opposed to some of the other ones. The rest of them. Definitely. <laughs> Dickerson looking to putt back for a birdie three. Once again, taking his time, making sure he lines his putt up. That putt from the last hole has got to be in his mind. As you can see, it doesn't affect him here. Bars be right behind him at 12. 445 foot par four right there. Prodigy sponsored Chris Dickerson, as I said, 2015 Rookie of the Year. Going to be playing that same hyzer, as you can see there. He's got a great shot. Playing his hole great. Make it to the bottom of the hill down there. It went down the hill. You don't want to go downhill after being up on the top there. Potential for a roll again. Definitely. Dickerson looking for an eagle too. And there you go. No problem for him. Starting off on hole four, it's a 310 foot three, and goes uphill and to the left. Starting off with Chris Dickerson, 2015 Rookie of the Year, on the tee. Now this hole doesn't look too hard on camera, but if you're an am trying to throw up this hill and to the left, it's a little difficult. Absolutely. Chris goes with a backhand, hoping for it to fade back in. Parked it. Part job. Now there's some. Makes good. Another birdie. Here we got Chris Dickerson. Really takes his time with his putts. I really love that. Oh yeah. Another bird. Kind of hard to film sometimes. It looks like he's about to go every time. <laughs> yeah, I can't. <laughs> Okay, going on to hole number five, 345 feet. It's a straight shot, but it's very wooded as you can see. You gotta hit that gap. If you've got a good forehand with some distance on it and control, you can do this. But if you're trying to throw a backhand, you're probably gonna end up left. 
Chris. A little bit of a forehand hyzer flick. Ooh. Oh. It's the tree. Arm falls down. So there was nothing. You go in late on the right, you're all right. Dickerson with an up shot. Sets it down right beside the basket. Ball gap off the tee. Makes good on his three. Here's Dickerson. No problems there getting his arm. It's like uh, hole number six here, 290 foot. It plays pretty much straight, but fades out to the right. So most of them are going to go for the flick. That's what Dickerson's lining up here. Yeah, most people are trying to flick this hole. Unless you're a lefty like me. <laughs> That's a perfect hole for a lefty. Oh, late, late kick. He's rolling. If he doesn't hit that tree, he's pretty much, he looks like he's about part. Dickerson here. Looks like he's going to take a knee and try and flick up there. He took a while trying to program this one. Anheuser flick. <laughs> Loved it. See Dickerson here. With a power shot. Except Cole. Hole number seven, 340 feet. This is probably the hardest hole we filmed all weekend. There's a gap to the left side, but most of the pros are going to take this huge hyzer shot. Just like that right there. I got to give props to Corey Murphy for trying to catch this. It was so hard. Uh, Dickerson going through these two trees here. It looks close <laughs> on camera, but from what Griffith was saying, I don't think it was... No, it was, it was a tight. wider, it was a much wider gap than it looks on the on the video. Oh, just off the cage. No. Going long is a good problem to have. <laughs> yes. Chris tapping in. Schuster and Cole sitting at even. Moving on to 615 foot R4, hole number eight. This is the hole where the guys get to show their arms. Yeah, this is, us AMs are trying to make it on top of that hill up there uh, as far as we can. And these guys, they're going for gold. A huge shot. Oh. That's a fish. Man, something in your hand, and I could not deal with that. I don't see how people deal with it. Sure, it's a matter of preference. I don't prefer to do it, but he's Barry Schultz, and uh, we're not. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> Lift. This shouldn't be any problem for Dickerson. Such a great guy. Had so much fun filming him last year and this year. One of the nicest guys in heat and disc golf, I would say, that I've met. So. Hole number nine, 450 feet. Uh, this is one of those that maybe doesn't play as a par four, especially for the pros. It's so downhill. Yeah. It's so downhill it cuts off the distance on that. The basket's actually uphill after you go downhill, but pretty much you kind of throw high and let it, let it catch that glide. Like Dickerson I mean, did here. Still. 450 feet. Still, though, to get it that close. It. That's a great shot right there. Some love. <laughs> and Dickerson absolutely parked it. Tap in Eagle. That's a great shot. That's, That's how you play that hole. Four down. On to hole number 10, 485 feet. This is a long hole with a lot of danger right off the tee, so you gotta hit a small gap early. Looks like he's lining up an Anheuser backhand. Mm. A little bit of Annie. Yeah, that's heading mm, towards the OB. Yep, yeah, heading towards the OB. Yeah. That's, that's OB right there. He told me he thought there was some headwind going.
<laughs> Who knows? The world will never know. Dickerson looking for programming. Yeah. He's, he's looking, he's looking to make this. I mean, he had that OB stroke. He's looking for file errors and trying to get rid of them. He got rid of them. <laughs> there you Chris go. the computer. <laughs> he does definitely go through his program. Behind him after that OB stroke. Hole number 11, 290 feet. I've never thought of a roller on this hole. That's what separates them from us. The pros from the AMs. They see things that we would never think of. Dickerson flicks it up. Got a little bit of forward skip. Oh, oh but he's in there. That's good. If you're in there, I like the hyzer that he put on that shot. Goes Dickerson. Looking for a birdie. Trying to get back up where Barsby is. Oh. Just short. I think he thought he had that one. Mm hmm Chris. Tapping in for his par. No shame in a par on this hole with all those draw down. And then Schuster was at three and snappy, two. He's got trust in his approach game, so he's just flicking it out there, getting it in the open. He wants to take a three and move along. Dickerson's trying to pop it down the middle. Huge backhand. That's great. You can get there. Dickerson lining up for a two. Not going to see any of us AMs lining up for a two unless we have that great round where we get a good shot. What Ooh, a putt. What a putt. To take a two on this hole. I, I've never took a two on this hole. I would love to. I've been fairly... We'll be starting out this part on hole 13, it's a 260 foot hyzer shot for these pros. Chris Dickerson on the tee. Now this is a blind ace run for everybody in the field. This is a gotta get hole for this tournament. Everybody's got a good putt. Definitely looking for a star frame here. Dickerson putting down towards the hill. He makes good. Uh, Dickerson and Schultz are still at six down. This is a 635 foot par four. I'm sorry, I said Schultz is six down, it's Barsby six down. Dickerson looks like he's lining up just a flat shot, hoping to get some turn and get a lot of distance behind it. He does just that. Yeah, you either want a good, good ante or a roll on this hole. It's pretty full. Before the addition of the new Panther Creek course in Morristown, this was the previous longest hole in Morristown. So this is this was the beast of Morristown right here. You see these guys throwing this far on this hole. It just puts it into perspective how much the pros are separated from the AMs. Mm. Now Chris has no joke. You can see Dickerson unfortunately made it down to the bottom of the hill here, so he's throwing back up maybe about 50 feet, 50 feet from the pin. Well, that's a great run. A par after the unfortunate roll down the hill. Yeah, that was... That uh, one stroke on Dickerson now. He's sitting at 7 under. 300 down there. There's a lot of trees in that fairway and no real fairway up from that line, so he's going to have to fight for a par on this one. Prodigy sponsored Chris Dickerson, 2015 Rookie of the Year. Straight Ooh. down the middle. That's as pure as you can get through that gap. That is a great shot. Dickerson putting for a two. This is a hole that not a lot of AMs are going to be putting for a two on. So no. See these guys putting for a two on this hole. 
is great for us locals. Nice. And he makes it. And down. And as you can see, we're moving on to hole number 16. Three. Looks like Chris is going with a putter shot, that backhand Anheuser. Basically, he's going to want to toss it out and let it get its turn down in towards the basket. It's looking good. Looking real good. Mmm, it's a light pitch. Such a great out from there. Yes. Chris looking for a two. All right. No problems for him. Down and Dickerson at eight down. 480 foot par four. I think it faded out a little bit earlier than he wanted. Maybe hit a branch. I'm not 100% sure. Dickerson looks like he's lining up a huge sky shot here. And that is sailing great. A little bit in those trees, but it kicks out, and you can see there, he is really close to the pin. Still looks like all these guys are at least going to be tapping in for birdie. Dickerson looking for an eagle here. Taking his time. That's mm. how you play this hole, guys, right there. It's not how I play it. That's how they play it. <laughs> so that's how it's counted during the tournament. Another par four, moving on to 455 hole uh, 18. It's pretty much a straight shot out there, a little uphill. Dickerson with an absolute crush. Wow. Past the pin. Past the pin. You gotta be kidding me. With, with you. Dickerson lining up. An eagle? Yeah, looking at an eagle here. You got it. Just so dynamic on another latitude that can't stand it yeah i'm a rocket boy i stay blasting off and i was never planning on landing been working on my legacy yeah since i've been a prodigy it's probably the dog in me i mean honestly ain't no one stopping me no apologies i'm so astonishing i say innova yeah i've been the one we talking trophies dog give me them championships i'ma give me some and i'ma keep on grinding till the millions come